TCS DCA 2023 have been announced and uh, we have uh, less than one month for the exam so what we would be doing is that we would be making a series of the coding questions that have been asked so it would help you to practice the coding questions so uh, this uh, this would actually you know guarantee you a digital interview spot uh, by clearing both of the coding questions that uh, will be asked in the dca so we would be uh, today solving one of the previous year uh, coding question that was asked in uh, dca so the question goes as uh, given a input string extract the letters and the special characters from the string the output should consist of all the letters followed by all the special characters present in the input string so we can see an uh, sample input here uh, name at the rate one two three four password so the output should be all the letters followed by uh, the special characters so we have to exclude all the numbers that are appearing so uh, we would be uh, you know solving this in java java language but uh, the the you know algorithm will be same people can code in the language that they know be it c c++ or python yeah so uh, let's start we would be taking the scanner to take the input The difficulty level of uh, this question, I would say, is medium level. Yeah. So the, you know, step for solving this question would be, first, uh, what we will do is that we will take the input of the string. Or uh, let's write it down so it would be easy. Take input. Second would be, we would make two strings to store the alphabets and the special characters. Then what we would be doing is that for, uh, and then what we would be doing is that we would be concatenating this. So we would be adding these both strings together. So that would give us the output string. So this is what then you know uh, rough algorithms look like looks like there are several uh, you know parameters that we need to put in while uh, adding both the strings like we have to check whether the character is an alphabet or in special character so let's see that So this would store the alphabets. This would store the special characters. All right. And now what we would be doing is that we would be, you know, iterating to the, through the input uh, string. All right, so now we would be checking that if input dot character at i is greater than or equal to a, what uh, and and so this is an and operator input dot caret i should be less than or equal to capital z or 
what we are doing is that we are checking that whether the character at i is between the capital a and capital z means we are checking that whether that character is an alphabet or not and we are considering both the cases over here like the uh, small letters as well as the big letters because we don't know what the input string would be so we are for safer side we are considering it both that input would be anything like it would be it would include capital letters it wouldn't include capital letters so we are not taking any risk and we would be doing it and we would be storing that in the alphabet alphabet string that we created now similarly what we would be doing is that else if now i would explain this uh, after writing the code so just wait for a minute So what we would be doing is that we would be checking that whether the character at i is a number that is from 0 to 9 and if and what this sign means is that not not so if the in character at i is not a number then what it would be it would be a special character so we would be uh, storing it in the special character. So this is what it is after that we would be you know we would be making a new string to store our output or wait a minute we can add it over here only and what we would be doing is that we would be uh, you know concatenating that in output string that is alphabet alphabet plus special and then we would print it yeah we did it as alphabet plus special and not special as alphabet because it has been mentioned that the output should consist of all the letters all the letters followed by all the special characters so that is why we took alphabets plus special and not as special plus alphabet or anything else yeah so it is compiling properly now we would be testing the sample input name add that one two three four password all right and what we can see is that name password so all the alphabets followed by the special characters yeah so this is the question this is the algorithm that you can you know see and uh, code it in the language that you know yeah and uh, we would be making more such uh, videos so please uh, do subscribe to get an update also yeah thank you